BDBD Refugee Settlement Reception Center. This place is where the refugees from South Sudan are received, uh, first received when they come to BDBD. Uh, it has uh, housing facilities that can accommodate over 4,000 people per day. So uh, Water Mission, uh, in partnership with UNICEF, has uh, provided safe water in this place. Welcome to ya. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. And now we have come. The dancing should go on. Yeah. Uganda has been on the forefront in terms of water. The problem we are facing here in the school is only water. Uh, we used to get water from far, some distance, from the barhole. But today, really, I've seen uh, the school will not suffer anymore because of water. I give thanks to uh, Water Mission Uganda and UNICEF uh, for providing us with the, uh, this safety water because since when we were brought here, we really had a lot of challenges in which uh, most of our community here are now practicing gender-based violence by sending children during night to go after the borehole with the, to face water and they don't get good sleep. And thank you very much, I really appreciate this. Thank you Water Mission, thank you UNICEF for giving us safe water at Twajiji ECD Center. <laughs> Take 
take water even you, did, you didn't eat food, there's no problem. Yeah. You will sleep well. Hey. Yes. So now you've not been sleeping well. Yeah. yeah. Because, because of no water, water, you cannot sleep. If you Moving up and you down not in the morning, at the night water. hours, we are going to fetch water. We have been fetching challenges here of water. We are moving at night, leaving children alone, sleeping inside the carpet. Sometimes we shall go at night hours, we shall miss water, there's not water. For me, I'm very, very, very happy, really, very happy, really, because of this water now. Today, they open for us. We are now washing our clothes free, bathing free, eating, cooking food at a time. Children, they will be clean. No more, no more suffering, no more suffering. Congratulations for that. and uh, people are celebrating the safe and clean water. They are very happy to have the safe and clean water as they are so grateful for water mission and UNICEF for such an intervention. Here we go as people celebrate. Since morning, I'm not bathing my baby. Right now, my baby is now bathing in full water in the basin. He's now, she's now happy. She's now playing. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, water mission and UNICEF. Thank you. because they are painting water from the far distance. So that is why we see all the women are here very happy. So I really also appreciate your activities. What are you going to use the water for? For drinking, washing, bathing. Uh, okay, so you're happy to have the water here? Yes, we are really very happy. Which problems have you been facing without water? We fish a lot, even you can see me now. I'm very dirty because of water. So today I've seen they have opened for us water. Next time if you come, you get us very clean. Oh, okay. The, the prevailing situation as far as water is concerned is 50-50. Uh, we are not yet uh, where we want to go. But there is a very tremendous effort by the partners, Water Mission, uh, with support from UNICEF. We've done a very tremendous job to do a motorization of uh, different water projects, and that has assisted us in getting reliable water supply for refugees. We've been able to achieve with support from, uh, 
from so many people, uh, from the head of East Charleston, from, uh, uh, from the country program, uh, uh, from our country director, from the senior engineer, from, from, the, from all those concerned, because we do this as a team, we're able to achieve more uh, with uh, the team spirit. Uh, today we've had such a good day. It was our first day of opening water uh, in BDBD refugee settlement. We've been moving around and sharing the joy with our persons of concern, those are the people from South Sudan, as they celebrate and jubilate receiving uh, the gift of safe water from UNICEF and Water Mission. It was such a happy moment. Uh, the children, the women, the men were so excited, and us ourselves were excited. Our original plan uh, was to receive and settle 40,000 people. Right now, we are at 140,000 people, so we've passed our planning figure by 100,000 people. That means our MINGA resources have been stretched beyond, beyond uh, 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 limit. So we need much more support, a lot of it to at least be able to fix those areas as well. The situation is still overwhelming. As expected, they were expected to receive 40,000 people, and now they have 140,000. However, they appreciate the intervention of Water Mission and UNICEF in terms of giving safe and clean water. People are enjoying the water and they really appreciate. They would like us to add in more efforts so as to feed each and every person with, with safe water. They appreciate and would like to bring also our appreciation to Water Mission and UNICEF for the intervention. We see that uh, the refugees today have been so excited as you see the videos. They are rejoicing, they are thankful to God, they are thankful to Water Mission, they are thankful to UNICEF that they have water they cannot walk any more long journeys to fetch water. They cannot fight any more for the little water that has been available. And now uh, Water Mission and UNICEF has brought uh, water near them. The children are happy. They can no longer wake up so early or move at night to fetch water. We're trying to explore more in terms of how to serve better. Uh, we're trying to look for more, more sources. Uh, at the moment, uh, UNICEF needs us to, to, uh, to generate uh, uh, more, more facilities uh, for, for motorization and for operation and maintenance. So the, that is going to kick off, we're going to start uh, generating ideas and thoughts uh, to see. But this, this is really done, again, I would, I would like to emphasize that this, this has been a teamwork. Um, we have a good team here with, uh, with the, the technician, the community development personnel, the, uh, the head office. Uh, the Kanpo Kama office has been very much in support of, of, of whatever we do here. And uh, they have really provided a lot of guidance. Uh, from the senior engineer, a lot of guidance has been given. From the current director, a lot of guidance has been given. Or, or now to do things better. Uh, how do things turn? So we just want to thank God for such an achievement because um, when these refugees first came in uh, in uh, August 2016, it was so difficult. Uh, they didn't have any source of water. Uh, the only alternative source was water tracking. But uh, immediately, Water Mission, together with UNICEF, came in to support uh, the supply of safe water. And we did a uh, temporary installation at the reception center. And this has been doing so well. Um, as we crown it today, when uh, we are giving out um, water, uh, water that taps now, we have been supporting water tracking with over 400,000 liters at all our water points. So we are thinking and we are believing that this uh, achievement of having um, safe water flow at the taps is going to stop that in our zone one. Like how our settlement commander said, Zone 1 is now somewhere when it comes to water coverage, but the other zones where our persons of concern are being settled are still having a big challenge because there is no water. So in this, um, um, as, as we do this work, we've done this work in, uh, uh, co in coordination with uh, different stakeholders and also engaging our 
beneficiaries to ensure that at least they take on the ownership and responsibility. So we have formed uh, what we call the top stand committees. These are people that are going to be helping and supporting the proper operation, the usage of the water to ensure that there is no wastage, there is no vandalism, there is uh, um, no discrimination whatsoever and people are going to be using this water well. But uh, still we can say, we can't fail to say that uh, there is still more need. It may not be, it is not where, it may not be where we uh, supplied water now, but in other areas where water is not, we are just uh, calling upon everyone that is able to do something towards this to make a contribution so Water Mission can still go ahead to support our people, uh, the refugees from South Sudan, with uh, safe water. We thank everyone who has been um, worked so tirelessly to ensure that we have what we have and to ensure that our persons of concern can have safe water at all times. And we're believing that they are going to use it very well and it is going to improve their health. At school here, uh, we shall see the children uh, have uh, easy access to safe water and they will keep it around school so that uh, they don't really get uh, disturbances from running back home to just get drinking water. At least they have this at school and they will be able to study well. We are believing that, yes, their future will be uh, brightened because of the gift of safe water. We thank you. God bless you.